Good evening. Welcome to the December 18th first meeting of the RSU Withdrawal Committee. It is 6.32. Um, it may look a little different to folks, um, but the process... Good evening. Welcome to the... Sorry. That's okay. The, um, the statute dictates the process, and the process is once the uh, sure, committee, committee is put together, um, the chair of the RSU 14 board runs the first meeting only until we elect a chair. Um, then the chair will take over for the rest of the meeting, and uh, I will dismiss myself. So saying that, um, the first thing on the agenda will be uh, open to, uh, first, I guess, we probably should introduce who's here so everybody knows who's on the committee. And we can start to my left. Yep. Sure. Um, Jen Moore, I am a member of the RSU 14 on this committee. Uh, Joe Brunella, a select board member and on the original consolidation team back in 2008, seven and eight. Teresa Sadak, um, select board, original consolidation back in 2008. And on FaceTime here tonight, Um, I, th I, I think you're here as the petitioner, though, right? I'm here as the petitioner. Okay, Caitlin so is know. here. As, oh, thank you. Is here as the community member. Joe is here as the select board member, and Jennifer's here as the school board member. Okay, great. Okay, saying that, we will now open nominations for a chair. Um, if somebody would like to nominate someone, I'd like to make a motion to nominate Joe Bruno for chair. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, are there any other nominations? Seeing none, we will uh, close the nominations. Um, all those in favor of Joe Bruno as chair? Raise your hand, Caitlin. I can't vote. You can vote for yourself, it's fine. Sure, I will. It's raised, it's raised. And let it be known that Caitlin has her hand raised. Um, it is, my hand's raised. And you did, Jennifer? Okay, um, so it is unanimous. So, um, Joe Bruno, you are now chair. Thank you, Mike. Thanks Congratulations. For the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we'll now open it up to nominations for vice chair. And I'll nominate Teresa Sadak. Second. And moved and seconded. Any further nominations? Seeing none, all those in favor of Teresa Sadak? Unanimous. Caitlin oh. raised her hand. Yeah, we saw that. Next will be a nomination for secretary. I make a motion for Caitlin to be secretary. Second. And moved and seconded. Any further nominations? All those in favor of Caitlin as secretary? Raise your hand, Caitlin. Make it unanimous. <laughs> nice job. And then we need a motion for uh, someone to be treasurer. I make a motion for Jennifer to be treasurer. I'll second that. Any further nominations? Seeing none, all those in favor? Jennifer is now the treasurer. Before so, we go any further? Yes. Caitlin, are you taking notes or do you want me to take notes for this? I'm taking notes. Okay, okay. then I won't write any more, thanks. All right, <laughs> so we now have, every one of us has a position to serve on this board. This is an important responsibility that we have here. We need to be thorough and we need to be inclusive. So all our meetings are open to the public. We will take public comment at the end of our meetings. As we have our discussion, we'll open it up for public comment at the end if anybody has anything to say. But we need to be very thorough. We need to appoint subcommittees and we need to be balanced here and make sure we look at this thing from both sides. And, and that's my objective, and, and I hope you all agree with that. So, um, so I guess the next thing we need to do is nominate the people on the subcommittee to help us out with all the information that we're looking to gather. Is that correct? Caitlin, did you get that email I just sent to you probably like 10 minutes ago? I did, yeah, thank you. Okay. All right, on this list that I have here, I tried to kind of put it together. I sent an email out earlier that the select board had got of all the candidates. Two more came in, and it was Anna Kenny, which I do have for you guys, um, her application. She is a mom here in town. And I'll give you that. 
Okay. And I have one for you, Caitlin, when you get back. <laughs> but we can fill you in. She's actually, she has four children who are currently enrolled or will be enrolled in the schools in Raymond and Wyndham and would like to be part of determining the best possible outcome. Um, she's worked as a child care provider in Raymond and she doesn't have any real concerns um, right now on that. Um, so she was another parent that just came in late and then Jannie Cummings, who's a teacher in Raymond, um, caught me this weekend and said that she would also like to be interested to be on the committee. Um, if you look at Charlie Miller, he will be giving us input and help if we need it or advice or bounce off ideas from him from Florida because he heads to Florida. And Frank McDermott will be doing it from Arizona. And I think there's hopefully one other possibility that we can get Norma from South Carolina. We're pulling all over the United States here. <laughs> But uh, Charlie is a former school principal, and, and Frank is a former superintendent. So, so yep. So, um, do you, I guess do you guys want to tackle the Wyndham people right off? Those are the two at the bottom that I didn't put anything on. Before Sorry. we do, yeah. just for clarification mm -hmm. and maybe for the public too, um, just to clarify the role of this four-person committee versus the subcommittee. Yep. Um, is it fair to say that we are charged here with? Um, drafting a withdrawal agreement for the consideration of the town and presenting data to help inform that decision. That's yes. our, our task. Right. And does the subcommittee act independently or do we charge them with, with tasks? So is it a reporting, does it report up to this committee or what does that structure look like? I take it as we're all working together. Yeah. But what happens is when it comes down to the names that have to go to the state, then it's our four names that are, that are on the main committee that's... Um, given the task from the state is what it is, but the subcommittee is helping us pull the information together. So we will all be working together. I, I take our meetings more as workshops, is what it is, and we're all working together. And if it comes down to saying, like when we get closer to the end of the withdrawal agreement, and we have some big ticket items to say, wait a second, I don't know if we want these or not, it would be us that would be voting to put them in the, with the draw group. But we'll be meeting together with the subcommittee. Yes. yes. Okay, that I didn't understand. And, okay. That's and the four of us should be meeting all together all the time, but some may, some of these other ones may be coming and going, but uh, most of these on here, I'm saying will probably be here at every meeting. For most. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's helpful. Thank so you. So we, we've had two people who are actually Wyndham residents apply to be on the subcommittee. Yep. And that's Tacey and, and Steve Parr. Um, my, you know, I've talked to Teresa about this. My personal belief is that they are not Win Raymond residents, mm -hmm. and I have a hard time having a Wyndham resident on this subcommittee. This is a Raymond decision that needs to be made, not a Wyndham decision. Um, do you have feedback on that? Thing? Yeah, I, I, I went back and forth. I mean, yeah. I applaud the fact that they wanted to get interested and, and right. wanted, because certainly they'll be impacted by the decision. So, yeah. um, right. you know, I thought sure. well, for that reason, should we consider someone um, but ultimately, I agree that it's a Raymond group. Okay. Yeah. Well, for, for full disclosure, though, Dot Mowat is also not a Raymond right. resident, but she's the former business manager here in Raymond when we split and for years beforehand. So she has a lot of knowledge of the school system before we, um, we split, and she also worked on the consolidation, too, helping get the information together. Yeah. So she has a lot of the business side of it. Yeah. She, but she was also on the consolidation committee back in 2008. Mm -hmm. yeah. Certainly good reason to have her, but since yeah. she's not a um, Raymond Whenever. resident, I don't think we can exclude them for that reason, yeah. for other reasons maybe. Right. But, yeah. um, my other question is, how many people are you looking for? Uh, I'm, I'm open. I, yeah. I, I, think I, I don't want to make it so big that it becomes unwieldy exactly. and, ha and everyone feel like they have to have a voice in this. Yeah. And so you have, okay. uh, you have meetings that last for four hours because everybody wants to talk. I, I like to keep it maybe just a few less than the people that have applied. Yeah. Yeah. Are you thinking 10, 10-ish, 10 something like that? Yeah. I remember the, the, yeah. the I'm notice thinking, said 9 to yeah. 15. 10 something. to 13, okay. somewhere in there. Yeah. Caitlin, what's your feeling yeah. on, on that? Um, on, I, I agree with all of that, Joe. Okay, thank you. Um, so do you want to just go down the list and... Yeah. Or it, it may just be easier to say, who do we not, you know, think would be a good fit on this committee? 
All right. So we're, we're in agreement that Tacy and Steve should not right. be on the committee. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, is there anyone else? I mean, a lot of these people will be part time. For example, Charlie Miller, I mm believe -hmm. Frank McDermott. Yeah. They'll be able to offer guidance and uh, information, but they're not going to physically be here. So we may turn to them when we have specific questions, yep. and, and they'll be able to provide information. So. And, and I think what we're looking for them is, okay, how does it work with a superintendent, a full-time superintendent, superintendent right. principal? It gives us ideas as far as money, salaries go, mm -hmm. to see what would fit, because they've all done that, is yep. what it is. Yeah, I, I think the more parents we have on this thing, the better we will be. So the, the BFC is Budget Finance Committee, yeah. oh, and okay. then the SB is the Select Board. Is what it is. If there's any so, questions there. So, so I look at Anna Kenny, I look at Heather Keen, I look at uh, Kayla Gonzalez as vital for input. Agree. Yep. Okay. Yep. Um, I agree. Next, um, Mike McClellan is going is our state rep. He's, he's, he's a great resource on the mm -hmm. education committee. Um, when the session starts to get hot, he may not be able to attend all our meetings, but I think he's going to be a good resource for us. And so. In case we need more information, we can pull it from him too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any dots are definite. Yeah, Dot Mowat. Dot Frank and Charlie. Yeah. Oh, on there. Is up for all yeah. of you guys, right? Yeah. Um, um, I'd throw out Janie, um, just with her years in the district. I think she's a great Janie Cummings. Okay. Yeah. Teacher-wise, yeah. as far as having different... I, I don't know the others, but I know Janie. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. We all know Janie. Um, Everybody knows Janie. The budget finance would have a lot of knowledge with the budget. Yeah. How do you feel about that? And there'd be three of those. Marshall. And, and yep, yeah, and Robert. Rolf. Ralph is the chair, and Bob Goslin. Caitlin, if we're going too fast for you two, let us know. Sorry. No, well, it's okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, Steve Warshaw is a great resource. He's a PhD, if I remember. He is, and yeah. he's also big into the, the town clerk, I mean, doing the elections, elections. and stuff like that. Yeah. I have his thing here if you need to see Strong him. education background, I'm yeah. is that right? Right, yeah. in New Hampshire, if I remember. Yeah. yeah. So we're getting large. Um, uh, what well, we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have twelve, but mine is two because of part so we have ten. Yeah. I've, yeah. Got, yeah, I've got thirteen. Maybe I did too many here. Um, so did you do all the BFCs? We've got Bullock, Bullock, Olson, Olson Goslin, and Goslin, and Desjardins. Um, Desjardins, you know. <coughs> I have think. reservations about him yeah. only because I think. We have to be able to bounce a lot of ideas off of each other, and Jane is very strong opinionated, and it can it sometimes comes off as conflict and not letting people get ideas in. So I would have real strong reservations about having Dana. So then we have here. twelve with two part time people. Is that we um, get bigger than that? We need we need Paul Colinen Col Colinen Col 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 He okay. did. I don't know if you saw his. Um, I hope Caitlin's still here. I'm here. Yep. Um, he has budgetary finance information. That, that this is what he does. And um, come on, Paul, where are you? He is um, almost like I think our financial advisor to a point. Yeah, and a lot of these papers are people that I stuck in to make sure that they got in after I talked to them on the phone. Here we go. He does. Um, his current job, he's an independent policy consultant, but he's specializing in federal government budgeting, cost estimates, and policy analysis. And this is kind of his, his, res his background and everything else. So I think that he would be, and he's got a BA in um, economics. So I think, as far as doing numbers go, I think that he would be really good. I know I brought the hard copy by the time I find the oh, email. Okay. That's okay. Oh, well. Works in Mathematica. Oh. Interesting. You know, you know, we're pretty much got all the people right, on there. Right, that's, that's what I'm asking too. 
interesting, but again, not everybody will be able to make all the right. meetings either. And, right. um, so that leaves Louise Lester and Dave Cowens. Right. Louise is the former clerk, town clerk and a lot of, you know, a lot, I think, lifelong Raymond resident, if I remember. So I think she'd be important, and I think Dave Cowens can add a lot too. I, so because he's a trustee, and he, is he is a trustee. He's a trustee. He was a trustee at Wheaton College, uh, down in, yeah, down in okay. Norton, uh, Norwood, Norton. Yeah, my daughter went there. I should know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So I, th I think that will be the makeup of our committee. So I think we probably should have a motion to include everyone we want. So that would be Anna Kenny, Steve Warshaw, Dave Cowens, Mike McClellan, Charlie Miller, Louise Lester, Dot Mowat, Marshall Bullock, Heather Keene, Rolf Olson, Frank McDermott, Paul Cullinan, Kayla Gonzalez, Bob Goslin, and Janie Cummings. So can I have a motion? A motion to accept all the people that you just read off to be on the subcommittee. I have a I'll second. Okay. Did you get all those, Caitlin? I, if you have them written down, could you email them to me just to make sure I have it for the notes? Yeah. I, I can. And yeah. it's also on video, so you can go back and watch the video, too. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I just to make sure I didn't miss somebody. Yeah. Okay. So we have a motion on the floor. Um, any further nominations than that? I, I guess the thing is, is I do get like this Anna Kenny that came in. She came yeah. in last minute, and Janie came in last minute. Do you want to accept any more people? Do say. No, I, I, mean, I, I think you know you have, you have to cut it off at some well, point. That, I think what tonight's I'm meeting too, is the cut off, and we have we have plenty of people. To and we've already said no to a couple, so right. this way, yeah. where if we're going to say yeah. yes to anybody else, right. these guys should go on first. So okay. Yeah. So I, I think we're good to go. All those in favor? It's unanimous. Um, I guess we need to set the next meeting date. Maybe. Yep. What the way that I'm looking is we have till March 9th, the 90 days, where we can get an extension. Hmm. And um, I have to figure out, I guess, what all we need. Like I can re request a 379. I can pull old budgets. Hmm. Um, I don't know exactly what we need for this next meeting. Okay. Um, I think the other thing, too, is as far as... The broadcast studio Thursday nights are open more for okay. because of um, the school board meetings, the select board meetings, the budget finance meetings. Thursday seems to be the the earlier of the month too. Okay, so I, I I'll, I'll propose we we have our first meeting on January eighth, which would be a Thursday. Does that work? Um, I Works for me. I have a standing conflict on the second Thursday of every month. The second, so Thursday. that would be the eighth. Okay. All right. So, um, do we want to make the first, how about Wednesday? Wednesdays are taken up here, Dominic, as I far as? Usually I can check the schedule as well. How about January 7th? School board meeting. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, first, here, here, first oh. and third, I think, right? It's not here, but I wouldn't. All right. right, but you have the first and third. First and right. third, and then we're entering budget season, so. Yep. Okay. What, 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 all the time. what about Monday nights? Monday night, we have to watch for budget finance. Okay. And planning board, I believe. Budget finance is on the 12th. We have the, the 5th that has not been. So can we start on the 5th? 6th. As far as Monday. No, the 5th is Monday the 5th. On the January. 6th, board is oh, I'm in 2014. <laughs> Are we talking next month or? August? Yeah, January. January 5th. Is, there a, is it open? It's open. Yeah. Okay. Can we plan on January 5th? Yeah. Does 6 o'clock work? Six that, that works for me. Okay. Yeah, get in earlier. All right. Yeah. Now we need to notify everybody. So we're probably going to need emails from everybody. I can get those. And Caitlin, um, I can get Charlie Miller's and Dots. I actually have Dots at my house. Heather's I have. Rolf's I have. Frank's I have. I don't know what. I think I was printing this list up so quick that I just wanted to get it to you. So I'll fill them in and send it to you. Great. That was very helpful. Thank you. Okay. Hi. <laughs> okay. I'm behind them. So for now, we'll plan on the 5th. Um... And if we can do two a month, but... Well, I, I'm thinking I like to do almost on a weekly basis. I know. I, I know. It's not going to be easy. Were, but were you nominated or did you volunteer? 
You know, I, I volunteered. Oh, yeah, oh okay. I did, I did volunteer, you. but I have a very active uh, work life. So. Yeah. <laughs> you, as we all do. So, okay, so let's start with the fifth and then we'll go from there. Okay. Well, okay, but here's another idea, too. Yeah. Because we all are on different committees and stuff like that, I think because we have such a big subcommittee where we're going to have notes, we're going to have televised, so that's what's good about bringing up, up right. to the meeting. So if one of us can't make it, that's okay, but at least we're knocking the work out more. Right. And, and if you're okay with that, Jennifer, like if I can't make it for some reason that something's come up or Caitlin or whatever, you know, we still got everybody else out of this big majority to do it. Yeah, I, I mean, it would be nice if we could come up with maybe a standing time, you know, right. every, you know, yeah. maybe Mondays work maybe best. Maybe Mondays work best. But we'll, or we'll Thursdays other than, I Right, guess. yeah. No, that's right. But we'll determine that on the 5th, what works best for yeah. everybody's calendar. Okay. And and that, but I think we may have to do like a Monday, Thursday because yeah. of, the, of yeah. everybody's, yeah. Right. I think at the next meeting, before the next meeting, we need to figure out what exactly we want to assign the people for what we're trying to get as far as yep. information. I will bring, and I've been looking on SACOs, um, there's, I think it's uh, section 1466 is what is listed out that has to be in the withdrawal agreement. Right. I am gonna bring SACOs, I'll print that out, or somebody's mm -hmm. online. Yes. So that way we can say, okay, they mm -hmm. needed transportation, what do we do for transportation? This is right. what they did for debt service, what do we need to do? Yep. So we can kind of maybe model somebody else's. Their yep. whole agreement's mm -hmm. online, it was really right. nice. And, oh, they, yes. and, they, and, and report also everything. has a right. lot of yeah. information. Yeah. So, so that way they have the, the most of everything, right. the, that listed out as to what we need. So yeah. if I brought that, then we can start saying. Or, or oh, send it out beforehand so okay. people can look at it before the fifth, I mm -hmm. think. I always like to have people informed yeah, when they come to a meeting. Good. It makes a meeting go quicker and more efficient. I don't know what we need to do. That's that's where I'm stuck right. now is what it is. Okay. So now it's like going, if I go back through again and like take this weekend or whatever and just start saying, okay, we need yeah. stuff on transportation. We need stuff on debt service. Yep. We need, you know, the, the 379 or 279 from the state that says how much stuff subsidy we get. Yeah. You know, that type of thing. And I can bring the old budgets. Um, DOT, DOT would be great as far as I'll pick her brain tonight when I go home and saying, okay, you know, I think we need, and, and I don't know how to, to approach this, I think we need to talk to Randy Crockett, but I want to get permission through Sandy Grintz first, yeah, just so absolutely. he's uncomfort, not uh, uncomfortable with right. it. And what we need from him is, okay, how many kids do we have in the district? Right. How many kids are we um Is the RSU willing out? to provide us any uh, information? I'm sure. And it's can, all open now. Yeah, you can probably yeah. get that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that'd be so great. Identify those things. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it would be nice to know how many students do we have in Raymond? Yeah. What are the projections for growth as far as students over the next 10 years? Okay. You know, those demographics are out there. We need to know what they are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. recently, so. All right. See, but that's what's cool is then, yeah, then everybody can kind of pull in and we can start looking and say, okay, this is, this is what we need for teachers. Because when, when the public is here, they're going to want to know <laughs> Well, how much is this going to cost me, and what what happens to know. my kid? And we and we need to have those answers at the end of the process. But we need to know the questions to ask to get those answers. Well, and okay? this is this is going to come up, and, and this is going to be I think kind of like the elephant in the room because two people that I know of had made comments before about this. Is one of the things in the withdrawal agreement is we're going to need a contract with the high school. Yeah. So we're going to need you know like like. A group that says, "Okay, let's investigate Westbrook. What we did had used yeah. to have before: Westbrook, Gray, yeah. Poland, um, Wyndham, um, yeah. and and the other ones that are already open." And we still have choice. Right? We do, so yes. No matter what, we always have choice. Yeah. But we have to have one school that we have a ten-year contract. And the question comes down to is: Is Wyndham still willing to take our kids if right. we split? Right, and you know, and I'm they have to sure give us. Yeah. That's the way I feel. Yeah. I can't, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because it's they, a huge they, base for right, them. exactly. Yeah. And, and we had that contract before we consolidated. Yeah. Right. That, right. You know, so right. it's there's precedent there. So, but, but but that has to be in. Right. The other thing that they did tell me, which I didn't know, uh, Paula Graville, and she is she's awesome. She's the person that wrote all the steps. She said that we have to have it written in the contract that Raymond still has choice yeah. it, because it's a new plan for right. Raymond is what it is, and that Raymond has still voted to have choice. Well, I mean. There's been, there was always a controversy on choice, as you probably know, but it passed overwhelmingly. It was two to one yeah. that it passed. The question is, is this another opportunity to go out and reaffirm that vote? Mm 
if you want to do that? Or do you just assume that vote was pretty solid and you just go forward with it? I've only heard one person bring that up. Yeah. And I haven't heard uh, it, anybody it, else bring up. But it's People, a valid. The only person it's I heard about is Wyndham bringing it up because I can yeah. understand they're paying. From they the, don't get from choice. Their perspective, right? Exactly, and I get that. It, it's a valid question, and you know it's something we need to think about. Yeah. So, okay. So between looking at the websites and ideas that come, do we want to just email each other to get a list for that first yeah. meeting to start to build the? the that agenda? works. Yeah. So we can just shoot ideas to each other and craft yep. an agenda that way. And then, yeah. and anything we need, we can re quick research and bring it up, mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. So. So we all have our emails, right? I, I don't mind. I think Teresa just sent one to all of us. Yep. So okay. Hit add to address book. That's what I do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Is there any further discussion that we need tonight? Um. No. Okay, so we're all set for January 5th, 6 o'clock. There is going to be a web page okay. set up for this so people, it's an informational page. So that way where we, you know, they can put when the meetings are, what's been going on, and it's just another avenue for people to get more information. Is it going to be on the Raymond web page? What, what is it? Exactly? The streaming of this meeting? and oh, other, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Right now, actually, if you go on to the web page under... I think it's under committees, right? Under town office... And at the very bottom, it says live streaming. You yeah. can actually click it and rewind and watch this meeting again. Uh, Which I'm sure people are going to do I'm gonna go home all and do night that long. Right all night well, long. Actually, I meant for whoever was taking the record. Oh, Caitlin. Yeah. Yep. She oh. can actually yeah. rewind and watch it again and get anything she missed. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Uh, any further Great. business we need to conduct? Motion to adjourn. Motion to Great. adjourn. Nice all to meet you. All in favor? Caitlin, virtually. All right, Caitlin. We'll see you on January 5th. Thank you. Happy New Year. Bye, guys. See you, Bye. Kevin.